Hi, in this video we'll be talking about the ternary if statement. We can simplify short conditional statements and the blocks that follow by using the so-called ternary if statement. Here's a simple regular piece of conditional code. Let's have two variables, a and b, and set them to 7 and 3 respectively. Now, if a is greater than b, winner equals a. Else, winner equals b. Now we can now rewrite this code using the ternary if statement like so. Winner equals a if a is greater than b. Else b. So this should be read like this. Winner equals a if this condition is met. Else winner equals b. The ternary if statement can be also used in expressions. Here's an example. a b equals 5 8. Now, result equals 4 times a if a is not equal to b else b to the power of 2 divided by 2. Result 10. How does it work? Result equals 4 times something and then divided by 2. But how do we decide what we multiply 4 with? Well, we multiply 4 with A or B depending on this condition. If A is not equal to B, which is the case here, we multiply 4 by A, so by 5, which is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10, hence the result. But if this condition was not met, we would multiply 4 with B to the power of 2, so A to the power of 2, which A is 64. And then the result would be 4 times 64 divided by 2. And now let's make these two variables equal. So a equals b equals 5. Let's copy this. And let's print our result out. Now it's 50. Because this time we're multiplying. Now, this condition is not met, so b to the power of 2 is chosen, which is 5 to the power of 2, which is 25. 4 times 25 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.